Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now, Al, we're just going to pull off the outside fairing material, whether it's a poly or an epoxy base. And we're just going to uh, have a look at what we've got for construction underneath so Danny knows what he's working with. What is that? One, two, three, four, and the green is the five layers of protection on it. This is more putty. The white is the putty, so you can't say that's uh, um, a protective curtain, but this is, they got high build. Mm -hmm. They got, the green is a, a seal, a primer. The white is a primer. The gray is a primer. Then this is a high build primer by the looks of it, and this is a putty, and then this is another primer to seal the putty. And uh, you just didn't finish going all the way yet. It's like, it's harder to build it like this? Very hard, yeah. It's, uh, to fair it in as smooth as he did, he did a really good job of fairing it in, uh, of molding the metal in. And it's, uh, you can see he had a lot of experience with doing something like that. Yeah, so when I first yeah. heard, I met up with Alan, brought me down, I had the first look at the boat. I expected, honestly, that we'd be sort of blown out of the water almost on the spot, because yeah. most backyard builders could never even come close to producing something that I'd even consider yeah. something like this trip with. Can't even, can't even feel the uh, the difference in the uh, uh, two plates. So now, do you see any problems? Do you see any problems with this construction past the electrolysis? Not, not so far. No, it looks pretty good. I don't know what the bottom is yet.